All right, Keith, it's uh, pretty nice out there and we'll take it. Yeah, it's the forecast is pretty boring for a while, which you know <laughs> is usually a good sign for, for everyone else, even if I'm bored. Here's a look at the radar. The last of the rain moved out. We'll talk about rainfall totals here in just a second because we got quite a bit, especially uh, over down East Maine last night. Visible satellite looking good. We've got a lot of sunshine out there. Few fair weather clouds into the mountains, but otherwise it's going to be sunny and, and uh, nice. A little bit breezy, but not crazy, actually. I thought it would feel a little bit windier than it does out there because the wind would be produced by this big upper level low and funneling around it behind our front. But um, again, it's been just a little breezy, but nothing too bad. This low, by the way, is going to move off to the north and east and stay away from Maine. So rainfall totals, this is just our last storm. 3.39 in Lisbon Falls, Winthrop 2.78. So we had a lot uh, right around three. Portland got close to three too. A lot of that happened with a uh, thunderstorm that happened uh, two nights ago in the middle of the night. If you live in Portland, you know what I'm talking about. Bangor two inches. So between the two systems, Thursday night, Friday, and this one, quite a few of us got six or more inches of rain. So the drought monitor that comes out tomorrow should be quite improved into the mid coast as far as the drought goes. So. The rest of today looks good. Temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Tonight we're in the 40s and quite a few 30s too by early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is a similar day. A lot of sunshine, a little coolish in the mid 50s tomorrow, but nice. Just a couple clouds in the mountains. That's about it. Tomorrow night, a few clouds roll through there, keeping us in the 40s and upper 30s. And then Friday is another bright day in which we push into the upper 50s by Friday afternoon. And we're gradually warming up in time for the weekend, which will be in the 60s. It looks like Saturday and Sunday, which isn't crazy warm, but it's uh, above average for this time of the year. So there's our front that moved offshore, occluded, wrapping back to that low. And again, that low is not going to move due east. If it was, we'd see more showers, but it's going to move up into Canada, away from us. And then high pressure broadly starts building in on Friday and is in place on Saturday and Sunday. It's kind of funny how we're bookending weekends a little bit because our next storm starts to approach from the south here on Saturday afternoon. So probably some increasing clouds over southern Maine Saturday afternoon as we're I'm sorry, Sunday afternoon as we're waiting for this system to come through on Monday and it looks like another rainstorm on Monday. Maybe not quite as much as the last two, but it definitely has potential to be over an inch of rain again. Here's something you might like from the 25th to the 29 above average. Don't get too excited though. It is late October, so above average ain't what it used to be. It's 60s, maybe upper 60s Saturday and Sunday. Again, increasing clouds Sunday afternoon over southern Maine. Looking wet on Monday and probably into Tuesday morning. Again, that's over an inch of rain again. Probably not as windy. And with our last two storms being three plus inches in a lot of spots, the bar is pretty high for rain. We should be able to recover our soil moisture situation here, uh, Amanda, because if we had this storm, say, on Thursday, we might have some flooding problems. I think it'll dry out enough uh, over the weekend. Okay, we'll take that. Loving these nice weekends. Beautiful. I know, I know yeah, last one was good. I can't remember the one before, but it must have been good. <laughs> All right, Keith, <laughs> thank you.